What's up, everybody? It's Monkey Farm. We are here on my Patreon server, and behind me is, of course, the item elevator in the Guardian Farm here. We're pumping out tons of Prismarine from the farm down there. I uh, just did a video showcase on this, so if you missed it for some reason, uh, I will put a link uh, on the screen or in the description uh, so you can check it out. I give kind of like a full tour of this farm and all the storage and all this good stuff. Uh, but what we are here for today, it should be a fairly quick video. Uh, I had a ton of questions about the item elevator for some reason. Now these have actually been around for probably a couple of years now, um, but there might be a lot of Xbox players or just new people that uh, didn't know much about item elevators. So I'm gonna take you guys over to a test world and show you how to build a couple different types and um, we'll see you there. Okay, we're back. We're on the test world here, and I have a couple different item elevators behind me, as you can see. Uh, we have a glass one, and we have a dropper item elevator, and uh, they're both pretty easy to make, actually. And for those of you wondering why I don't have my texture pack on, it's because uh, there's some redstone over here, and I want people to know what the actual items are without having a different texture on them. Uh, so don't vomit when you see this horrible glass right here. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, so let's get to it. All right, let's start with the glass one here. Uh, this is what we used on my Patreon server, and uh, it doesn't actually have to be glass. It just needs to be a solid block. And the way it works is, um, let's, say, let's say you dropped an item and you buried it, you know, you placed a block on top of it accidentally or something. Uh, the game will basically pop it up out of that block until it reaches air because it doesn't want you to lose your diamond or your pickaxe or whatever it is you dropped and um, it will basically float up until it reaches the top of wherever it's stuck um, and now here's a here's an example for you real quick uh, let's say I lost my chest or I dropped it and didn't know about it and I accidentally placed a block well it'll pop out uh, so the same thing is used here the concept it's just going to float the items all the way up to the top. Now the trick is obviously how do you get the items into the glass. Um, this was actually, uh, this design was designed by uh, the Zip Crowd guys if I remember correctly. It's actually a couple of years old. Um, you need solid blocks. Let's see, let me do this a block lower. You need solid blocks here so that this fence is going to connect to it. And then you need glass next to this one uh, so the, gla uh, the fence will not connect to it. Now the reason for that is because we need, what is all this mess? <laughs> Let's put some ice here. We also need ice underneath. Um, we don't need it all the way underneath in case you're trying to save ice or something. but. Um, Let's get this, and it needs to turn a corner. It doesn't have to go this far, but uh, it needs to turn a corner because the items are basically going to slip in underneath into the middle of this thing. And once they hit the solid fence, they're going to get stuck because since it's connected to those blocks, it's going to treat it as a solid block, even though technically a fence like right here is not uh, the hitbox ends right at the edge. Um, so we're basically going to trick the game into thinking those items are here inside the column and it's going to start floating up. Um, the other thing we need to do, we need to fill in on top because it's got to be all solid in there. Um, so let's put some water here. Now I should probably have some solid blocks here because the items might kind of glitch out or something weird like that. I assume they would. All right, anyway, so let's just throw an item in. And the reason you need the ice is because it needs to, the item needs to be, oh, I didn't, I didn't show you guys. The item needs to be near the side. Otherwise, if I just threw it in here, it's gonna get stuck on the fence. So the ice is going to basically ensure that the items are way over there by the edge. And it's gonna just float up to the top. Uh, just in case you're curious, uh, you can throw an entire stack and that whole stack will rise up here, which is different from the dropper elevator. That will only do one item at a time. Um, the difference is, is of course, you still have to store it somewhere once you get to the top. Um, let's see, put a chest here, 
and a hopper into there and we're gonna have to surround the hopper here anyway um, but that should work so let's throw that stack back in again and it's gonna rise up and it's gonna get stuck right here on the hopper and you'll see it's gonna slowly count into the chest so it's still it still does have to drop into the chest one by one uh, eventually but it will rise up to the top as a stack all right, so that is pretty much, I think, all you need to know about this one. Uh, it's, like I said, it's really easy. You just need a couple fences, no redstone or anything, aside from, you know, the hoppers and stuff at the top. Uh, you can do this. You can send it all the way up to the, the height of the map. Um, and, yeah, that is very simple to use, and it's cool watching the items inside the glass, too. All right, now on to the dropper elevators. I'm not going to build these piece by piece for you because it's probably not useful because uh, the reason I made this video is because people asked me about this glass, you know, that item elevator that we had used in the Guardian farm. Um, so that was kind of what prompted me to do this. But just in case you want to know kind of how it works and everything, these are all droppers and they're all pointed upwards, you know, just on top of each other. Uh, you shift click and do that. Um, so they're piled up as high as you want to go, and you just have a block on every other one with redstone torch on every other one. And the whole trick is basically all this redstone down here. Now the reason you need all this redstone instead of just a normal comparator clock is because if you're going really high up there with the items, um, it's only going to click as many times until this bottom dropper is empty. And basically... Um, the items will probably get up to about here and then the clicking will stop and then of course that means the redstone torches are no longer clicking or you know going on and off and the items will stop moving up uh, so basically what these clocks these are two different types of clocks this one is a short version so you can't really build it to the top or you you know your items will get stuck um, in this one make sure that it it goes long enough. Now these are a bunch of comparators and what happens is kind of the signal, I'll put a whole stack in here, the signal will go in a circle and you know how comparators work, the signal, the farther away you are the weaker it gets. Um, so basically what's going to happen after this stack is all gone, now I'll just take it out, uh, you'll watch this redstone here, the light is going to get darker and darker slowly because the signal is basically kind of running out. Each time the signal circulates around this little comparator circle, uh, it gets weaker and weaker by, you know, one block. And eventually it runs out because there are two redstone here, and um, that's it. So uh, I'll just kind of fly around it to give you guys, you know, you can just copy how it's made here. Um, so there is your bottom dropper. You have a comparator here, a, f a repeater on full ticks. You have the two redstone pointed into here with your redstone torch. Um, and obviously, do your redstone. That's a repeater. Uh, you add a tick to it. You have your redstone torch there. Um, so I think that's pretty much easy. Just you know, do a screenshot of this and copy it and look at it if, if this is what you're trying to build. Now, if you want to make a shorter one, uh, I don't know the exact number of blocks. Oh, actually I do. I made this a long time ago. I copied it in here. This is where it will end. If I put a stack in here, uh, the items, once they run out of here, it's only going, the very last one is only going to get up to here. So you're going to have like every few hoppers, you're going to have like one item stuck in it. So you'll have one here and here and here. Um, so you can only build it that high. If you only wanted to do that, you can build it like this. So in other words, it's just taking out that little comparator circle. Now, if you wanted to go higher, and for some reason this runs out of power, just add some comparators to it. It'll just increase the time limit that the clock ticks. Um, so that's pretty much it. All right, and let's go up to the top real quick and check. We have all of our 21, and now we, we got every single item made it up to the top. So good to know. That is the deal. So anyway, this is really why I wanted to make the video because uh, you guys wanted to see how the elevator worked in the Guardian farm we made 
on the Patreon server. Um, but here's, you know, this is how the old schoolers did it <laughs> a couple of years ago with the uh, the dropper elevators. So that is it. I hope uh, hope that helped you guys that were asking, and we'll see you guys later.